एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम partial derivatives and total derivatives so as we know that derivative uh, gives us rate of change it means if like we want to know uh, a particle movement from one place to another we find the derivative but what if the particle is in two variables then we should have we should know or we should uh, we should be understanding like how we find the derivative or how we find the movement of a particle which is in two variables so here comes the concept of partial derivatives and total derivatives also i am dr seema thakran welcome to s chand academy if you want to study partial derivatives and total derivative in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the e book link is given in the description box below so let's start understanding partial derivatives and total derivative for one variable we have total derivative concept but in partial derivatives also we have total derivative concept so let's start uh, with the partial derivative so partial derivative of two variable function it means if term partial derivative is is used it means the function is two or more variables anyhow as per the syllabus prescribed we stick to two variables only so partial derivative of two variable function i'll start with the example and then i'll tell you how we take or take partial derivatives so let my function is fxy and suppose it is this x cube by plus x y square plus x y. You can see it is completely in x y. It is two variable function. So, uh, partial derivative notation is this del. So we make this curly del. So del f by del x. It is two variable function. So it means two partial derivatives of first order. This means this is first order. Two partial derivatives of first order. when i'll differentiate this function partially with respect to x i'll keep my y constant so my y is constant so y will be treated as constant and x will be treated as variable so y is constant x cube derivative is 3x square y is constant plus y square is constant and x derivative is 1 xy y is constant and x derivative is 1 this is how we take del f by del x now del f by del y if i'm taking x constant so x cube is constant and y derivative is 1 x is constant and y square derivative will be 2y it is nothing new that with respect to one variable we have already done in our 12th class y square derivative is 2y now x is constant and y derivative is 1 so both the uh, partial derivatives we have got and these two are called first order you can see order is 1 now i just tell you how we find second order so for second order we have three options or three derivatives so it means just do the same thing and differentiate again the uh, del f by del x again with respect to x keeping y constant so when you will differentiate this again with respect to x so it will it will give you x square will give you 2x so it will give you c 6xy because 3 is already there then this will be 0 because there is no x and it is a constant constant derivative is 0 so 0 plus 0 it means just 6xy now del f by del y this i first calculate y square it means just differentiate this again with respect to y one more time and so it means this is zero this will give you 2x because y derivative will be 1 and this will give you zero because there is no y so 2x now how you proceed for this one this is important one how you do the reading of this derivative 
So the reading says that first you differentiate with respect to y and then with respect to x. With respect to y already we have derivative. It means you just differentiate this derivative with respect to x and you will get this answer. So I am differentiating this with respect to x. I will get 3x square plus 2x and plus 1. Y uh, function, uh, Y derivative with respect to X and there is another derivative also just reverse of this. They both are not same until or unless the function is continuous. They both are same in the case when the function is continuous otherwise they both will give the different value. Now what does, uh, what, uh, what this derivative means? I have my X derivative which we have already taken. This is my x derivative. I will differentiate this with respect to y. So, what I will get? 3x square plus 2y plus 1. 3x square y plus 2y plus 1. So, just 3x square here because y derivative will be 1. So, first order derivatives, second order derivatives, we got to know how we find the variable will be the one which for with respect to which you are differentiating the variable uh, uh, will be the one with, with, with respect to which you are differentiating the, the uh, other variable uh, other uh, variable will be treated as constant. Now moving to some other different problems. So uh, now I am just changing the variables and this time my function is r theta. You can see the function is little confusing e to the power r cos theta cos r sin theta. In this case how you will be going to differentiate and you have to find del f by del r and del f by del theta. It means when you will differentiate with respect to r you will keep theta constant and with respect to theta when you will do it you will keep r constant. So, so del f by del r. You know that uh, in derivatives you use to, uh, uh, if there are two functions, then product formula you will be applying. The same thing you will do, but you will keep in your mind that your derivative is with respect to r, theta is just constant. So, first is this function, second is this. So, first same, derivative of this function with respect to r and keeping theta constant. So, cos derivative is? minus sine r sin theta and angle derivative with respect to r will give me just sin theta. So, this is one thing then plus cos r sin theta same and e to the power r cos theta a rule says that first the same thing and then power derivative with respect to theta that is my, a power derivative with respect to r will give you cos theta. So, this is the derivative with respect to r. First to same derivative of the second function that will become minus sine the same uh, angle and angle derivative with respect to theta and then second function same as it is. First function that is e function. So, e, e function uh, rule says that you will keep it as it is first and then power derivative with respect to r. Now, the same thing with respect to theta. So, it, it says the same thing. Only uh, this time theta will tr be treated as variable and r will be treated as constant. So, first to same derivative of second and that is minus sin r cos r sin theta and now derivative of angle with respect to theta. So, uh, derivative will be r cos theta because sin theta derivative is cos theta r is constant. Now, cos r sin theta second same and e to the power r cos theta e rule says first same and then power derivative that is minus r sin theta. So, these are the two derivatives and different variables. First I did in x and y then I did in r and theta. The same way we can go for the second higher derivatives. So, this is all about partial derivative coming to the point total derivative. So, suppose my function is in partial derivative, how come like the total derivative concept uh, comes and how we do that? So, suppose my function is this and my x is 280, my y is 80 square. So, can you see 
function is of two variable but x is one variable y is also one variable ultimately my f is my uh, my f function is i am just making this chain and you just see what exactly it is indicating can you see f is function of x and y variable and y and x and y both are of t, t variable it means ultimately my f is just one single variable function and if it is so if a function is of just one variable we always uh, talk about total derivative but in this case how to find total derivative i am writing the chain rule and that is so df by dt this time no partial derivative it is df by dt but how you proceed and how you write the using the partial derivative concept so it means first this chain stopping at t so del f by del x because chain is just uh, separating two uh, chain is opening on two variables so first del f by del x then dx by dt because only one chain and it is stopping at t so dx by dt plus del f by del y because chain again opening del f by del y and dy by dt because only one variable connection y connected to only one variable so d i am using now del f by del x is how much partial derivative of x with respect to f with respect to x so y will be constant it is just 2x then dx by dt it is just 2a plus del f by del y is minus 2y and dy by dt is 2at so finally you can see how easily we have got the answer and now only thing is that i'll just substitute x value because my x is in at uh, t terms and then y value and i'll get so total derivative with this help of partial derivatives becomes very very easy and this is how we do it and now in uh, in part 1 so this is the end of the part 1 in which we have done partial derivatives and total derivatives concept now in part 2 we will be discussing very important theorem on partial derivatives that is euler's theorem and that is for homogeneous function and we use partial derivatives uh, to for the euler's theorem if you want to study euler's theorem partial derivatives and total derivative in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below don't forget to share like and subscribe s chand academy don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates stay connected stay tuned and keep watching the upcoming videos thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder